This calls for a thumb war. Clone Robotics, which makes synthetic humans, is taking aim at Elon Musk's bold claims about the next-generation Tesla bot's dexterous hands. Let's take a closer look at the brewing battle that pits Tesla's sophisticated hand design against the scrappy startup's lifelike creation. It all started when Musk took a break from disrupting the U.S. federal government to boast about the next-generation Tesla bot's hand. He said the Generation 3 Tesla Optimus hand is so sophisticated that it makes a Fabergé egg seem simple. The miniatures bordered in diamonds are of Nicholas II and his two children. It's all the work of Karl Fabergé, jeweler and goldsmith to the Imperial Court on exhibition in London. Clone responded to Musk's post, describing its hydraulic-powered robotic hand as lighter, stronger, and cheaper than Tesla's. The company emphasized its robotic hand's soft and plush texture, which suits it for applications beyond traditional robotics tasks. Clone Robotics co-founder Dhanesh Radhakrishnan said only Tesla fanboys would prefer a Tesla bot hand over the hand of Clone. He took a shot at Musk, saying he can keep pretending he discovered mass manufacturing, but Clone's hardware is an order of magnitude cheaper to produce than Tesla's. The founder, whose ex-handle is Necromancer, said Clone can build a hand in a day. He said the startup has spent a thousand times less to create an entirely new class of machinery. Clone says its robots are made from polymers that are light, cheap, and easy to process. Clone and Tesla have different missions, but their target audiences have significant overlap. Clone aims to create synthetic humans capable of long-term independent operation in complex settings. What we have is one where this is going to be a battery-powered robot, um, an electro-hydraulic robot. Um, that will have enough energy for the entire Android to run for um, your entire waking hours without without needing to recharge. So this is this is absolutely the solution we're going for. We're not really interested in making an Android that's uh, going to run like Boston Dynamics Atlas for like an hour and uh, you know and then and then needing, needing a recharge. The startup, which operates out of the United States and Poland, generated significant buzz in fall 2024 when it unveiled Torso, which drew comparisons to the host drones in the HBO show Westworld. Its work toward creating a lifelike robotic hand goes back nearly a decade. Co-founder Yukish Koslik posted this demo on Clone's YouTube channel back in November 2019 as part of a project called Automaton Robotics. The Polish engineer said he built the robotic arm in his garage. He described it as a copy of a real arm he saw in an anatomy lab. Powered by water pressure and electro valves, it was intended for use as a prosthetic arm or as part of a humanoid robot. Koslik became increasingly bold and provocative and in 2021 boasted the 10th iteration as the most human-like robotic arm. He said the arm had a redesigned 3D printed skeleton and McKibben type artificial muscles. By September 2021, the robotic arm was capable of continuous operation. A thermal imaging camera captured this video of warm water flowing through the clone arm's veins. The artificial muscles could continue working after being punctured, leaking fluid without a notable decrease in performance. As clone's hand became more lifelike, it also became stronger. In this November 2021 demo, the 11th prototype holds a jug of water weighing 26 kilograms or 57 pounds. From there, focus shifted to miniaturizing the mechanical design and increasing its portability. Clone's latest iteration is notably quieter than the earlier prototypes. The startup scope has expanded to the whole upper body. The latest version, called Torso 2, has 910 synthetic muscle fibers that animate 164 degrees of freedom. Clone plans to demonstrate a full-bodied version of its alpha robot soon. In a recent interview with popular Polish technology channel This Is IT, 
Koslik said clones' goal is to create robots that are indistinguishable from living people by mimicking human anatomy from the deepest tissues of the skin. Układ nerwowy, czyli w zasadzie rdzeń kręgowy, gdzie z głównego komputera przechodzi to do naszej kastomowej elektroniki i jest rozprowadzany w zasadzie w bardzo podobny sposób po ciele jak układ nerwowy. The design includes synthetic organ systems for skeletal, muscular, vascular and nervous functions. Tesla focuses on general purpose robotics to assist in industrial and household settings. Since the company's We Robot event in fall 2024, during which Optimus Humanoid stole the show, the company has emphasized the robot's domestic applications. Musk has been talking up the Generation 3 Tesla bot hand since 2024. Might be, it might be close to half of all the engineering in, the, in, in Optimus. From an electromechanical standpoint, the hand is probably r roughly half of the engineering. The next generation Optimus hand reportedly doubles the dexterity of the current iteration from 11 to 22 degrees of freedom. There are three additional degrees of freedom in the wrist, bringing it to 25. Clone Robotics says its robotic hand, called the Hand of Clone, has 27 degrees of freedom, which is the same as the average human hand. Tesla and Clone take radically different approaches to achieving the dexterity. The next Tesla Optimus hand features actuators within the forearm, simulating human tendons for realistic hand movements. Hands, the actuators, the muscles of your hand are almost overwhelmingly in your forearm. Mm -hmm. So your forearm has the has the muscles that that actually control your hand. Um, this, there's a there's a few small muscles in the hand itself, but your hand is really um, like a skeleton meat puppet. <laughs> Clone, however, uses proprietary hydraulic muscles and force valves, which the startup says more closely mimic human muscle actions. Tesla's most recent demo of the next generation hand features a teleoperated Optimus catching a tennis ball. The demo impressed observers who praised its improved dexterity and real-time responsiveness. Both Tesla and Clone aim to eventually offer their humanoids to the masses, but they both anticipate prices to initially be high. Clone plans to release 279 of its alpha androids in 2025. The price is to be determined, but Clone has likened it to a limited edition supercar. However, Clone says it plans to drastically reduce pricing so the robots are obtainable by the general public. Likewise, Tesla aims to eventually sell Optimus humanoids for between twenty dollars to $30,000, which Musk says is a deal for a machine that can perform basically any human task. To stay updated as both robots advance toward mass deployment, make sure to subscribe.